Torah Life Ministries come out of the world. Messiah people seek the truth. Hello everybody, it's Paul Neeson. We are reading the Torah portion for next week, which is uh, number 18, and it comes from Exodus 21.1 to 24.18. And it starts off right here in Exodus 21.1. It says, these are the rulings that you are to present to them. So it's these rulings that are, be, are to be presented to, to the Yahweh's people, to the people that say, I accept him as my savior and, I, and he is my God and these are his rulings and I will keep these. That is the covenant you make when you proclaim Yeshua as your Messiah. These rulings and these rulings that are given in Exodus, guess what? Have never changed. They never went away. They were never replaced or done away with. It's the same rulings and teachings that Messiah taught because he taught from the Torah. And Exodus is one of the books of Torah. Somebody said to me the other day, they said, well, how do you compare the King James Version to your Torah? The Torah is in every version. The Torah is the first five books of the Bible. But they don't teach this in the churches. They don't teach this. Most people don't understand this. And, you know, this is what Messiah taught. The foundation needs to be strong. Just like he said, if you build a house, you know, on a, on a weak foundation, it's going to blow over. But if you build it on solid foundation, well, it's going to last long and be strong. Well, the foundation of all your teachings needs to come from the Torah, the first five books of the scriptures. They're so important for everyone to understand. But we look how we've gotten so far away from the guidelines and instructions of our Creator known as the Torah and, and the trouble we're into today. You just take an example of the criminal justice system where there's no justice being done. You can't think of any area of all of Scripture where we're more opposite and going against what Scripture says. Scripture's clear, as it says here in this week's Torah. If somebody murders or kidnaps, they are to be put to death. That's what it says in this week's Torah. It says here, right here in Exodus 21, 14, but if someone willfully kills another, after deliberating and planning it, you are to take him from the altar and put him to death. And then it goes on to say, if somebody kidnaps, somebody must be put to death. But what do they do today? They have a big trial, they throw him in jail, and even if he's in jail for life, it's for life. But the scripture says, death, not life. So you've got a whole bunch of people rotting in jail that shouldn't even be there according to the scriptures. But we pay our tax monies to pay those people. When you go so far against the system that the scriptures give us and tell us is righteous, and you do the opposite, of course you're going to have problems. And we have problems. The greatest criminal justice and truly justice system there is in the world is found right in the Torah. In these rulings that we should be following throughout all our generations. But we don't have that and then we have an issue. And you know another part of the issue is you look at the banking system today and you look at everything that's happening with that. You know what part of these rulings are in the scriptures? Part of these rulings in the scriptures say that we are not to take interest from our brothers. We are not to charge interest to our brothers. It says it right here in Exodus 22, 24. If you loan money to one of my people who is poor, you are not to deal with him as he would a creditor. You are not to charge him interest. Guess what's happening today? People are being charged interest. They can't return their loan. And we got this, this economy issue going on now. Gotten away from his guidelines and instructions. Not following these rulings and these guidelines. Goes on to say, You are not to curse God. You are not to curse the leader of your people. I don't agree with the leader of our people today, the president, but I don't go around cursing him. These rulings say don't do that. What happens? People are doing that, and look at the issues we have today in every single area. You are not to curse your God. People continually curse God because they don't like the way things are going. This is why we are in so much trouble today, people, and it's time we wake up. Here is the most profound thing, information you could find in, in, in this week's teaching, and it's so important to understand. In Exodus 23, 2, it says, Do not follow the crowd when it does what is wrong. I mean, that is some of the greatest information ever. So simple. And it's part of these instructions known as the Torah. 
do not follow the crowd when what it does is wrong. Now, what is wrong or what does that word wrong mean? Because we might think, hey, they're doing something right. You know, who determines what's right or wrong? Well, we can't go off of our own decision of what right or wrong is. We have to have a standard, a universal standard, what says right or wrong is. And we do have that standard. And that standard is the scriptures. That's what tells us what's right is wrong. So those things I just mentioned, or right here in the scriptures, these ruins that people are doing opposite and against, do not follow those people. I'll say it again, Exodus 23, 2. Do not follow the crowd when it does what is wrong. That's it, everybody. Goes on, Exodus 23, 13. Pay attention to everything that I have said. Do not invoke the names of other gods or even let them be heard across your lips. Today you got people, what are they doing? They're naming with, they're playing with, they're dealing with, and they're worshiping every other idol, every other false god in the world out there today. And they're running to problems and they're running into issues. You know, I'm a health guy, right? Well, look at this scripture here. Exodus 23, 25. You are to serve Yahweh, your creator, and he will bless your food and water. He will take sickness from you. That's what it says right there. Exodus 20, 23, 25. I mean, it's these instructions and these guidelines we are to follow. But that is not what's happening today. And that's why people are having an issue. Yeah, I'm repeating myself because the scriptures say it clearly as clear can be. And people still just don't get it. Follow these instructions. He will bless your food. He will bless your water. He will bless you. And he will bless everything. He will even take sickness away from you. But if you do not follow his guidelines and instructions, you will end up like the world. That's your choice, folks. It's up to you. What are you going to decide to do? I pray you make the right choice. If you have any comments or questions, post them below the video. This is Paul Neeson with Torah Life Ministries. Shalom, shalom. Torah Life Ministries come out of the world. Messiah people seek the truth.